Hello, my name is Coretta Bennett. I'm a project engineer with Turner Construction Company. Today is August 20th, 2013, and we just completed a site tour of the DHMH project located on Ashland and Wetland Avenue with EBDI and EBCC, our workforce partners. You know what I mean? You have a combination of false joints and individual panels that sit on top of one another. We are the general contractor, and we've been here since January 2012 and we are on target to turn over the building in the spring of 2014. Some of the things that we just did today, we took an exterior tour around the building looking at all of the different types of materials that are out here, ranging from precast, curtain wall, metal panels, sheathing, and other building materials inclusive of masonry and brick on the building. From there, we went inside the 125,000 square foot structure and we started at the penthouse level and worked our way down all the way through the five floors inclusive of the basement. Um, we had a very good time just looking at the um, different materials that were used as well as interacting with some of the subcontractors on site that are actually putting the work in place. We have over 40 subcontractors working on the project, each of them specializing in their unique skill set and trade, ranging from glass to drywall, electrical, mechanical, plumbing, ceramic tile, flooring, painting, etc. So it's a very extensive process, just coordinating all of the various trades on site on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that everyone's being productive and efficient. And I think that's one of the things that uh, EBDI was very pleased to see um, what's happening on their project site and seeing how we as a construction manager are working to make sure that the money is being spent well and efficiently on site. With the penthouse level, it started with just looking at some of the air handling units, looking at the louver spaces that are carved out and just realizing how many systems and various utilities um, are required in terms of just the basic functioning of the building from the heating and cooling systems, the boilers, the chillers, the condensing units, the exhaust fans. It's just an eye-opening experience to be able to tour and see a facility in this magnitude under construction. Moving from the penthouse levels, we went down to the fifth floor with the fifth, fourth, third, and second floors are very typical in terms of the lab space and the office setup. Each of the um, wings, especially on the east side, have their own nuances, but for the most part, just looking at the different uh, laboratory spaces in the BSL areas, the open labs, and some of the materials that will be put in place. Um, moving from there, we went down to the first floor, which is very open and has a beautiful atrium that is still under construction. Looking at some of the administrative wings and office spaces that are very close to being finishing, uh, being, being finished. And then moved down to the basement and the vivarium level. So the whole tour, we spent over an hour on site and we just really looked at some of the basic functions of the building and did a very quick tour. It's very easy to spend hours upon hours on this building getting into the different um, types of materials and the structures and all the coordination that's involved. So I just want to thank EBDI for spending the time to come out and take a look at our building and just see what's happening right here in their footprint.